Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to soft mod or homebrew your Nintendo Wii. So the first thing you need is an SD card, and I recommend a 32GB card because it is the maximum that is supported on the Wii. I have heard that higher capacity cards will work, but they're not proven to work and I can't guarantee they will. So the first thing you need to do is before you put your files and stuff on the SD card, which we're going to do later, we're going to make sure that our Wii is running the latest firmware, which is 4.3. So you go to Wii Options, then Wii Settings, and then see here it's version 4.3. If yours is not 4.3, you should go to over to um, Wii System Update, and then you would hit Yes and do it. But mine's already on it, so I'm not going to. So the next thing you need to do is click on Internet, and then Console Information, and you can see the MAC address here. Now, I'm going to have it blurred out on my screen because I don't want to share it and don't give this to anybody because you don't want to get hacked or anything, so just jot that down or leave that on the screen and then we'll use that later. So, then we're just going to close out and... So the next thing you want to do is go on your computer and go to please.hackme.com and it'll bring you to this page here with a bomb with a letter and a bomb in it and uh, this this thing here so this looks kinda sketchy but I promise you this is safe and it won't give you a virus or anything so what you should do here is make sure that you click the correct letter after the venue version I actually made this mistake one time and this did not work so I clicked 4.3 U it'll say it next to the 4.3 on your Wii options menu and if you live in the United States, like me, it'll there's a 99% chance it's going to be 4.3U, so just let you know there. So, let me type in my MAC address. I'm going to have it blurred out on here because I don't want you seeing it. Make sure that you have the Hack Me Installer checked. Make sure this is checked. Collect. I'm not a robot for the CAPTCHA, and either cut the red or the blue wire does not matter. I, I always cut the red wire, though. So, um, it's going to download letterbomb.zip. So, after that's downloaded, go to your files. And then you'll see um, your downloaded file here. So, then the next thing you should do is... Put your SD card into your computer that you f and make sure the card is formatted to FAT32. I will format the card right now. See, make sure it's formatted as FAT32 and then format, start, format, format complete. All right. So then you open up the zip file and then take the content. You don't need the, you don't need the text files here you just need the private folder and the boot.elf so just but I'll, you can I'll just copy them all just for the ease because, it, because it's easier to just copy it so you just select all and then go to the SD card and then just no oh, I have to actually never mind I have to extract here first yeah wait no 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 Oh crap. How do I do it? There we go. And you copy the files to the SD card. There you go. So now it's time to go back to the Wii. So remove the SD card from the computer. Now you go back to the Wii. So now we're back at the Wii, so what you want to do is take the SD card that you took out of your computer and put it in your Wii, like so. Like there, see the SD card logo just came up. So you don't want to go to the SD card menu, you actually want to go to the Wii message board, go a few days back, and a letter with a bomb should show up. Or a few days forward, or today actually. Apparently it actually showed up today, so you see this red bomb, you want to click this. It looks kind of creepy, but you click it anyway. And then this screen will come up, and and then you got this screen. 
that if you paid for the software, you should you've been ripped, you've been scammed, and you should get your money back. So this screen will take this screen will be on for a minute or two. They want you to read this, so it'll eventually um, let me go past the screen eventually. Any minute now. Press 1 to continue. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to ins install the homebrew channel. So continue. Go up to install the homebrew channel using the D-pad on the uh, Wii remote. And then hit A. And then yes, continue. Success. So now we're going to hit exit. And this should lead us into the homebrew channel right here. And I don't have any uh, programs installed. On the SD card right now. I'll I'll show how to do that in the next episode of modding the Wii. So yeah, you just hit the home button now and then just hit X to system menu. And it'll just it'll just bring you to the Wii menu like this. And you can see the Humber channel's now installed. Right here. So now once you click on it, you get the Humber channel music. And It'll start up, and uh, load into it like that, you know. Normally you would have your, all your apps here and stuff, but uh, there's none installed right now, so. We'll just go back out to the system menu. And, um, that's it. You've modded your Nintendo Wii. So... That's it, and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, next part of modding the Wii. Bye for now.